Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well today I'm going to show you how to do the chalk fork technique. Very simple, I'm going to show you a few tips on it. So uh, this is one that I did and the background it's in the bashful blue and for me this is my favorite one. I had posted this on my Facebook uh, business page and I had uh, posted all the color that I did for the background and the the winner was between the Deftel uh, Delight, the yellow one, and then the Bashful Blue. That was a big uh, toss-up between those two. I think they're about, uh, they get about the same vote. Um, this arrived in third place. I would say this is the Primrose Petal. And uh, the one in the crumb cake uh, barely get any vote. And it is so funny because the first one that I did was this one. Then I did the primrose. And after that, I did the daffodil. And the last one was the bashful blue. And my favorite one, it is the bashful blue. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do the chalkboard itself. Um, I was playing with it last night. And uh, it's two things that um, you can do. I like to do the lines around just because I think it gives uh, some character. I take uh, a ruler. It's hard to see because it's a clear ruler that I got. And this is just a plain uh, chalk for chalkboard. And I take my uh, pencil sharpener that Stamping Up used to sell. So any pencil sharpener and sharp this so it's going to be easier to work with if your tip it's fine. What I do, I take my ruler and then when I do my lines, I don't go all the way, I just do part of it, turn it around and I'm going to do that this again and I'm going to do all four sides. It's just that it adds character around your chalkboard technique and then I'm going to go here and then there. So that is one way you can do it with the chalk. And then to be honest with you, the chalk going to rub off a bit. That is okay because then you really get the look of a chalkboard. See, I just mess it up. And you get that white look on it like it's been a chalkboard that's been used. So that is one way. We're going to do the stamping after. And then the other one that I did that, uh, I just uh, tried that last night, I really like that. It's I take my gel pen and I do the same thing. I do my line with my gel pen. I'm going to go here. So what I like about the gel pen, it's very uh, more bright. So you really see the line very good. So that is a big plus. Uh, many asked me before the gel pen, you know, they say, well, when it don't write or whatever, when you get your gel pen, when they're new, they write very good. After a while, it seemed they get stuck. Pass this under the hot water, it seemed it get little crust on that. And then <clears throat> you can warm up your, uh, if you hold it tight, it's going to warm it up and flow better. I even done at one time take a kebab like a those big stick and push the ink through. So it's many ways that you can, you know, uh, make it work. So, but make sure when you're done, you wipe your tip good. So that's going to stop the crusting of happening, like I said. Then I'm going to do another line there. And I try not to match the you know the corners I think it even look even better like not matching the corners so you can see the difference between uh, the chalkboard uh, the, the chalk over there and then the gel pen and then even if I use the gel pen I would uh, put a bit of white on it and just rub it on just so it look like a chalkboard now for your image you're going to use your white ink pad to craft. Make sure it's inked very good. And what I did, I did three thank you. Uh, the um, curly Q, I'm going to use the thank you from that. I used the thank you from uh, Perfectly Pinned. 
I'm gonna use that thank you and then right now on my desk I get the one from celebration the vintage verse so I just gonna do one of them cards because they all stamp the same I'm gonna start with on top put my thank you I like to put my uh, words first and then I'm going to put the image. But that you can use anything. It don't have to be thank you. You can do anything uh, for your uh, chalkboard. Voila. Now I'm going to take, I really like this rose in the old Hello stamp set. So I'm going to use that and it's a perfect size for this. I need a post-it note. Now I'm going to put my rose, and the reason why I use a post-it note, I put that on the line so it won't pass the line. I'm going to put my rose there, and then I'm going to put one right here. Maybe I don't need the post-it note. I'm going to put it just in case. And then I'm going to put another part just down here. So that is it to the chalkboard. Very, very simple. Voila. So now you get your chalkboard uh, done. So hope you learned something new. Until next time, happy stamping.